Hey everyone, it's Hayat here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, we're going to be going through the Zim Apex and in-game settings to be able to fly helicopters and planes in Battlefield 2042. Now, some people will find this quite hard to be able to fly helicopters and planes in this game using the Zim Apex. If you are one of these people, I just suggest when you get into an aircraft to pick up your controller and fly about using that. And then when you land or jump out to jump back on your Zim Apex and carry on playing. But if you do want to know the settings to be able to fly it in this game using the keyboard and mouse then this is the video for you as you can see in the gameplay behind this is just me in a multiplayer game flying about getting used to the helicopters getting used to my key bindings and where i should place my crosshair i'm not the best pilot but as you can see this is me with a mouse and keyboard and i'm doing quite well so stick around for this video I'm going to show you my in-game settings now and then we're going to move on to my Zim Apex settings and I'll go through every setting with you just in case people have got different sensitivities and different key bindings. I'll just go through everything and we'll jump into that now. So now that we're over in Battlefield 2042, you want to head to your settings, head over to your controller tab and then to your vehicles tab. Once there, the top bit is for ground vehicles. I have everything on 100. Field of view is on 88, gives you better view of your surrounding area. For your zoom, I have it on the hold, so I'll hold my L2 button, or in this case my right mouse button to zoom. For the pilot, I have invert vertical look for aircraft on, 100% sensitivity, and controller assist for helicopters on. And the last bit advanced is all default, I've never changed. And we're going to jump over to the Zim Apex settings right now. So now that we're over into the Zim app, I'm going to click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner and click on about. Just to show you what manager version and firmware version I'm using. I actually need to update these and to do that you go to the Zim forums under Zim Apex you'll see downloads and then underneath downloads you'll see beta. You want to click on that and then just update your manager version and firmware version. But as you can see these settings do work on previous versions. My Zim app is on a thousand hertz and also my mouse is too. I'm going to click on the little pencil icon to open up the config and this is called Battlefield 2042 Aircraft and the light on the Zim Apex is set to green and the load key is F2. The reason is my infantry config, which is in my last video, is set to F1 so I can quickly switch between the two. So if I'm running on the ground, I'll click F1 for my infantry config. If I jump into a helicopter or a plane, I can just tap F2 to switch to the helicopter plane config. Click on the three little dots and this is just default. I haven't changed anything on that. Under the hip section, whatever sensitivity you have here for your infantry, you want to times that by either 5 or 6. So as you can see in my previous video, this sensitivity was on 6, so I times that by 5 and it gave me the number 30. So I'll put that in there. I click the three little dots and I do have a ballistics curve. This curve here is to help with turn speed, which you definitely need in a helicopter and plane. Everything else is just default. Now we're down to the movement and this is the most important thing. So I have space, left shift A and D. So space in a plane allows you to go quicker and in a helicopter allows you to go upwards. Left shift in a plane allows you to slow down and also slow down in the helicopter and allow you to go closer to the ground. A and D is your rudder on both plane and helicopter. So that allows you to pivot left and pivot right. For right stick, I have W and S bound. So in a plane, this will allow you to face upwards and go towards the sky and face downwards to go towards the ground. And in a helicopter, it will allow you to tilt forwards and tilt back. I don't have any simulate analog behavior on this. And under the actions, key bindings, you can have whatever key bindings you want here, as long as they don't conflict with these key bindings up here. So as you can see, I'm using space and left shift up here. You won't find space and left shift bound down here. They cannot conflict. You also don't need to use R1, L1 or circle when you're in a plane or helicopter. So you can just unbind those. For the secondary, I don't have anything at all. And under analog, it's just all default. Nothing's been changed. We head over to the ADS sites and I've got it on inherit. 
and all I have is the aim exactly the same sensitivity as the hip which is 30 and I have the exact same ballistics curve and that there is the config for helicopters and planes for Battlefield 2042 what I'll do is I'll leave the settings down in the description for anyone who just wants to copy and paste them straight into their Zim app then all you need to do is change your sensitivity and your key bindings to what suits you I'll also show you in this video how to set up a game either on your own or versing the AI so you can get used to your settings, get used to your key bindings and fly about without any pressure and just practice and I'll show you that right now. So now that we're back on Battlefield 2042 what you want to do is click on All Out Warfare. You want to click Square to change the game mode and make sure you're on Solo and Co-op by clicking L1 and R1. So there we go, we're on Solo and Co-op. You also want to choose Breakthrough so we'll scroll over and have it on breakthrough and click triangle to change the settings. Have the AI soldier on beginner and I personally like to go on kaleidoscope. It's just a bigger map to fly around and you can see a lot clearer because it's not at night. You click done and then what we do is just load up the game and I'll see you when we get in the game. So now that you're in the map you get to choose what aircraft you want to pick whether that be a plane or a helicopter. In this instance I picked a plane so I started off with that and you'll see that right now. Now remember that this is your time to practice, fly about. You don't have no one online pressuring you. You don't have no one online taking the planes and the helicopters before you even got a chance to step inside them. This is your time to practice, to fly around, get used to the controls, get used to using the Zim Apex and used to using your mouse and keyboard to fly around. You will bump into things like this and you just gotta take time. And, and that's all it is, is practice. And what I suggest in the beginning is to just focus on your flying. Don't shoot anything on the ground. Don't shoot any helicopters. Don't shoot any planes. Don't shoot any infantry. Because if you do, things like this will happen where you focus on trying to shoot people that you can see in front of you. You forget to pull up and you go straight into them. Yeah, I got three kills, but I'm dead. You know, what's the point? In this next clip here, this is what you should be doing. Just take this time to fly around, fly in between buildings, get your mass right and sort out your pitch and your elevation and just practice, that's all it takes, just practice. I mean, I think I'm doing quite good here and you'll see for the rest of this little clip that I'm just going in and out between buildings. But anyway, I'll leave this here, let this run out. If you do like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions and I'll catch you in the next one.